Today I'm going to be seeing how much money I can get in 100 rounds of balloons. But first I have to pick which map I want to do this on. And honestly the best map is one with the most space. So I think I'm going to do Cubism since it's a very big map and has lots of space for banana farms. And I think I'm going to do easy and then go into free play so I can have low prices. Which is technically might be a little bit of cheating but it will make the challenge more interesting I think. I'm also going to be using Ben just for that little bit of a head start. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is place down a dart monkey just to defend. And I'm going to place him like here because I think he has the most coverage. So the second thing I have to decide is what monkey should I get first? I'm going to get Ben first, which might be a mistake. I don't actually know if he gives me money yet. Okay, well, I get 150 per round. So I think picking Ben first was a good decision, but I guess we'll find out. All right, yeah, there's lots of balloons, but the door monkey does end up killing every single one since we have all this space. All right, there's actually time for banana farms, though. So I'm going to get us started in the bottom corner, I think. I just want to make sure it is placed perfectly so I can fit as many as possible. All right. So, yeah, I might even like I'm, I'm going to let myself lose lives on purpose because we need to get as much money because the more money I gain these first rounds is going to make a huge difference later on. It might not seem like it, but 1,000 extra bucks in the first 10 rounds could mean like an extra million dollars later, I think, at least. All right, I'm going to upgrade this banana farm once. Oh, that was twice I upgraded it, okay? Oops. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, so I may have already messed up a little bit of the efficiency, but it's what I think is best, so that's what I'm going to do. I probably could have only upgraded it once and got a second one, but honestly, I'm okay with what I did. Okay, we're coming up on the second banana farm. I think we're going to have to finish this round before we get it. And we're going to lose a couple of the spikes down here, but that's all right. Second banana farm is being placed down. All right, there we go. And let's upgrade that banana farm one time. Just like that. There we go. Now we have two banana farms working for us. All right, another balloon made it to the ending, but that's all right. I, we have two 200 banana farms now. So we just got to keep getting these banana farms down. Hopefully, I'm doing this pretty okay. All right, banana farm number three can now be placed as well. And just like that, we have three banana farms down. I like that. And yeah, we are going to have one spike left after this happens. So we're going to need to upgrade our defense a little bit soon, which is not that big of a deal. All right, I think I'm going to spend the first bit of money, which will be a, I don't know. I think I'm going to do a ninja because ninja might be a little bit expensive, but he can automatically break camo balloons. And at some point, we're going to need to kill a couple of camos. We might as well make the investment of more popping power at the same time help us with camo balloons. Okay, we can get another banana farm. I'm not going to upgrade that one to two yet. Both these are 100. I think I might upgrade them to 200 and then place the fifth banana farm. This is a lot of balloons, but looks like we killed almost all of them. And we still have our shields up here, which is very, very good. All right, we have all these banana farms upgraded now too. And our monkeys are doing a pretty good job at popping these balloons, honestly. All right, we can place another banana farm. We gotta go quick, just like that. All right, and we can upgrade it once already, nice. Ooh, these are regrow balloons, so... Nope, they can finish them off together. All right, I'm four coins away. There we go. Another banana farm. We were making a lot of money. We are losing some stuff though, which is okay for now. I don't really mind losing the shields. I would rather make some more money. Because honestly, I think we'll have at least one marketplace later on. So even if we go down to like 100 lives, we'll probably get back up over 200. But with 20 rounds in, that means we are technically 20% of the way done. Or one fifth of the way done with this challenge. And we have only made like 1000 bucks. But all these banana farms will count. I'm, at the end, I might sell everything too after and see like the grand total. But who knows? I think I might need to upgrade this at least a tiny bit. It kind of sucks because I don't want to waste money, but I mean, we can't die too, so. And then one more banana farm right there. And I'm going to place down maybe a temporary, maybe a permanent monkey farmer. Just for I don't miss. The monkey farmer will get everything I miss, so yeah. Okay, we have two more banana farms now too. So I'm going to upgrade these guys. Ooh, I just realized we have to do something though. So my second strategy is to get a rubber to gold monkey because they do really give you a lot of extra cash and they will give us some extra popping power at the beginning i upgraded this first guy wrong so we have to delete him all right and then we get lead to gold all right there we go and then we need a second one right here and then we change this to strong do this one first 
There we go. All right, lead balloons are about to come out. And we're going to have two of these guys ready. And then let's get a rubber to gold. And we'll get a second rubber to gold too. All right, there we go. So that is going to make us some extra money. And then we're going to start upgrading all of these guys to banana plantations. So at this point, I think it'll be better if we just start upgrading them to banana plantations, like I said, because they will do more. And if we just spam 200 farms, I think it will slow us down. So I'm going to start upgrading these. They only cost 1500 bucks too, which is a pretty good price. Our ninja monkey is killing all of those camo balloons, so... And honestly, for the Moabs, we could just upgrade this guy to a to a sticky bomb. Because if this guy's a sticky bomb, he will deal with all of the Moabs pretty well. So I think that's how I'm going to deal with all, all those Moabs that come later on. Also, I accidentally upgraded this bottom path, so that was my bad. It is almost round 40, so I kind of have to decide what we're going to do for the Moab. Is it possible for me to just kill the Moab, like, straight up? I don't really know. I might try that. Maybe just get a single flash bomb. I'll try that, because why not? Yeah, we're going to be fine for now. We don't need Moab defenses. I'm going to turn auto-stored off, though, too. Because I have an idea. All right. Did we kill? Yeah, okay. So we have to click free play. All right, there we go. The next thing I'm going to do is place some boats. Because boats are super important if you want to get a lot of money. These things print money. I know doing it like this, I'm pretty sure this is not how you place the maximum amount of boats. But I do not need to be perfect with this challenge. So I don't really care to, like... Do it 100 perfectly all right i think that is the best i'm gonna do i place a lot of these boat monkeys so yeah we have to keep playing though because i'm out of money i'm gonna slowly upgrade every single one of these guys to a merchant man so that's what i'm gonna be doing for the next couple of rounds hopefully that is the correct thing to do next like i said though i don't really mind if i do something a little bit wrong i mean the point of this challenge is just to see how much money i can personally make if you want to do this challenge go for it and see how much you can get if you do end up doing this challenge though leave a comment with the amount that you did end up getting to because i would be super curious and the only rules for this challenge would be like just don't use any like insta monkeys or cash drops just do like a vanilla playthrough from round one you can do whatever you want though but that's what i'm doing i did uh easy mode free play which is the only advantage i used all right all of my merch men are upgraded so I'm not sure what to do next. Let's get one uh, favorite trades. And then I think I'm going to go for some banana research facilities. Because those things will start pumping money out. Alright, we are almost halfway done with this challenge. And we... I mean, for halfway it's not looking too good. But halfway is when it, we start making the real money. The first banana research facility has been purchased. And we can almost buy a second one. Ooh, these balloons are going a little bit too far though. I think we're going to be fine for now. Which is nice. I got a central market because it boosts merchantmen, but now I'm going to go back to getting the banana resource facilities upgraded. I'm also going to get one monkey city because monkey city boosts income. I will be getting more later on, but for now, I'm just going to get that one. All right, the third banana resource facility has been purchased. All right, and now I have six banana resource facilities, so that is doing pretty well. And I'm going to boost a lot of these boats with this guy, and we're going to get a second right here to boost all of these boats with. We are definitely going to need more defense for round 63, but I'm going to uh, get money until round 63. Then I'll buy something. Okay, I went ahead and got a wizard monkey, just because why not? I don't know. All right, all of these banana farms are upgraded to resource facilities now. I'm going to work on getting the monkeyopolis up here. So let's place all of these farms for the monkeyopolis. All right, I set up all of the farms for the monkeyopolis, so now I just have to upgrade them. It is about to be round 63 though, so we're going to have to buy some better defenses. Alright, what will defend round 63 easily? Let me think. Maybe we can just buy a cannon? I don't know. Maybe we don't have to buy the mage defense. I think I already defended it, honestly. Just like that should be fine. Yeah, there we go. We passed the round. Okay, the monkeyopolis is ready to be purchased. Actually, right, I also need an overclock monkey though. And then we're ready to buy it. Okay, monkeyopolis can buy it like that. All right, there we go. Now I have to place all of these farms back. All right, this is pretty much the final setup for farming because I cannot fit anything else. Oh, wait, I didn't upgrade the boats. I'm so dumb. Well, I forgot to upgrade the boats this whole time, so I probably lost a lot of money from that, but that's okay. I have no idea how I forgot to upgrade the boats. That is kind of silly. 
And actually, we could do one more thing. We can place an engineer monkey because exile balloon trap gives you money. So we can place it right here or maybe like right here. Yeah, like right there. And then we will get some extra money from that trap. I didn't even realize, but if you look how much money we have, we have already gotten 400,000. So now we basically just AFK and let the money roll in. I could place sniper monkeys for some money, but I'm not going to go that far. I'm pretty happy with the setup I have here, so I'm just going to wait and see how much money I get. All right, it is round 81, and I have 900,000 gold. At this rate, I am pretty positive about what's going to happen. I think we have a very nice setup here, and yeah. It's already round 82, actually, and we have a million now, but... Our defenses are also holding up, like, I mean pretty well i didn't expect them to do that well but i'm pretty happy that i mean yeah these couple of monkeys i'm actually gonna make this guy glaive, glaive lord now we are doing pretty well honestly i also have homeland defense i don't even know why but i do so okay i'll see you guys at round 85 all right round 85 just ended and i am at 1.7 million dollars so i think we're doing pretty well honestly okay i'll see you guys around 90 that's only three rounds away now though so all right it is round 91 and we have 2.5 million I think that's pretty okay, honestly. It's getting pretty close to the ending of the game. Round 95, and we have $3.2 million. So, honestly, I thought we'd have a little bit more by now. I mean, especially if we sell all of this, we'd have a lot. But the main thing I want to see is, like, the money farmed stat. I think it'll show us at the ending. So, we're going to have to pay attention to that. Or maybe it won't show me because I'm in free play. Yeah, actually, I don't think it's going to show me because we free played. Now that I think about it, I guess we'll see. Round 98 and our defenses are holding up super well. It is round 100. The bad balloon is getting wrecked. All right, he is almost dead. Okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that is 100 rounds. So let me pause this and let me just let this round finish. All right, we farmed $4.1 million dollars. But that is not where the video ends, because I'm going to sell all of this and see how much money we got from the entire game. So I'll see you guys in one second. All right, we only got up to 5.5 million. I was kind of expecting a little bit more, but I mean, that is the challenge basically complete. Obviously, I could have done a little bit better. I think $5 million in 100 rounds is pretty decent. I'm not sure, but I'm very happy with that. And yeah, if you try this challenge out, let me know what amount you got in the comments. I'm very curious. But I think that will be it for this video. I could keep playing more rounds, but that kind of defeats the purpose, especially since the goal was, how much money can I get in 100 rounds? Well, I'm going to sound really stupid if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is all the Paragons in the game right now. So, yeah, I mean, we still have $2.5 million. We could rebuild at a, like a vengeful temple too. So this challenge was definitely a success in my opinion. And I think we did pretty well. So if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you left a comment and maybe even a like. Also, if you want to see more of this content, subscribing would help you see it in your feed. If you want to see a video where I glued 500,000 balloons for an achievement, it's on screen now. I'll see you guys there or maybe another time. Thanks for watching.